Hello Year 5 and 6 and welcome to Thursday's handwriting lesson. Before we start, if you could just go and write today's date and today's title handwriting, making sure your letters are tall and touch the top line and the rest of the letters only go halfway up. I shall see you back in a minute. Before we start looking at our spelling rule today, or I am writing, I just want to practice a couple of letters, which are sometimes a little bit tricky. So the first letter is a J. So we're going to start on the line. We're going to go up halfway. Sorry, my hand's in the way. Then we're going to come back down that line underneath, make our loop, and then go up. That doesn't look very good. I'm going to try that again. Go up halfway, down underneath the line, and then back up. Much better. So if you would like to practice a few of these, you can do, pause the video, and then come back when you're finished. Now the next letter we're going to practice is the letter K. I'm going to do that over here. So we're going to start on the line. It's a tall stick, so we need to make sure we go all the way up. Come back down that stick, go back up halfway and round, and then down to complete the K. And to do a couple of those, if you want to practice with me, go to the top line, come back down that line, halfway, round, and then it finishes on the line. And the last letter we're going to practice is a W. We need to make sure that when we do our W, that all our points are at the same height. So we start on the line and all our points are the same height. We want to have a practice with them. So the first word we're going to look at is joker. So we're going to start with joke. So I'm going to do my J for my joker. I'm going to do joke. Making sure we've got our tall stick. All of this is the same size and then put my dot on my J. If we want to turn joke into joker with the suffix er, which is the er, we need to take off that e and then put the suffix er on. So I'm going to have a go at writing that. So I'm going to go up to the middle, back down, make my loop, my curly cut into my o, up tall for my k, back up to the middle and round. Then I'm going to add my e. R or joker, put my dot on my J. I'm going to have another go at that. If you want to have a practice as well, J, doing my loop to my O, tall for my K, make sure it's all set on the line, little E and a little R, joker. So I took my E off and added the E R uh, suffix. This time, we're going to turn joke into joking. So we're going to follow the same rule. We're going to take off the E, but instead of the ER, I'm now going to write the ING, ing suffix. I'm going to start on the line. I'm going to go up the J halfway, back down under the line. I curly cut into my O, cross up for my K. Remembering to take the E off, and I'm now going to do the suffix ing. My stick for my N, curly cut for my G, down, and there's my loop. Dot my I and dot my J. I didn't take my pen off until I'd finished writing the word. So if you want to have a practice at writing the word joking, and I will try again as well. So my stick for my K. Making sure I only go halfway up, across and down for my N, 
curly curve on my G, do my loop, my dots on my J and my I, and everything is the same size. Everything is sat on the line and my tall letters are tall. The next word I'm going to look at is the word wave. Remembering my W, I'm going to start on the line. Go halfway, making sure that all my points are at the same height, go across. Background for my curly curve for my A. And I need to do a diagonal line so that I can do my V and then across and down for my E, making sure it's all the same size. I'm now going to start thinking about what I need to do to get the word waved. So if a word ends in E, I need to take off the E and I need to add the suffix ED. So, oops, I'll start that again. Up for my W, round for my A, curly curve for my A, diagonal line to do my V. I've taken off that E and I need to add E, D to get the word waved. If you would like to practice that and then come back. The next rule we're going to be looking at is what happens when we're, we're adding a suffix to a word that ends in Y. So the first word I'm going to write is angry. So that's a curly cut into my A. Diagonal line to come down for my N. And I'm going round to curly cut for my G. Down, do my loop. Up. Level with my G for my R and then come down for my Y and then with my loop, all the same size. Now, if you've got a word that ends in Y, then you need to get rid of the Y and replace it with an I. So I'm going to turn angry into angriest. So curly cut for my A and down. Cross and down for my N, curly curve for my G, my R, and then I need to replace the Y with an I, and then it's E, S, being careful with that S, and then a tall T. Cross my T and dot my I. Remember, because we looked at this last lesson, that our S is a lowercase s. Remember, you can practice these words a couple more times. The next word we're going to look at is busy. So I'm going to start on the line here. I'm going to go up my B, halfway, cross the line up for my U. Remember, my S is a lowercase letter, cross the line and then down for my Y. And I want to turn busy into busier. So the same rule, I need to get rid of the Y, replace it with an I. So now we're going to write busier. So I'm going to start on the line, up tall for my B, across the line, and then up for my U, which is a small letter round for my S, and then I need to replace my Y with an I, and then E, up for my R, a dot on my I. I'm just gonna try that one again. Up for my B, little U, more of a diagonal line for my S, little I, E, and a little r busier go and have a practice and then we'll look at the next rule welcome back now within every rule there is always an exception so this is the exception to the rule if we are writing a word that ends in y like 
fly. I remember when we did the Fs last week. There we go. So the F, it doesn't quite touch the top. It's further than halfway. We do the loop, we go up tall, and then the Y, making sure it sits on the line. If we've got a word that ends in Y and we want to add the suffix ing, we don't do anything with the Y, it stays on. So the word would be F, making sure it's not quite at the top, but further than halfway. Tall L, my Y on the line. And then I'm just going to add the suffix ing. So that's my small i, my stick on my n, curly cut for my g, down, and my loop. Flying. So if it ends in an e, we take it off and add the suffix. If it ends in an i, a uh, y, we change the y for an i and we add the suffix, unless we're adding ing to a word that ends in y, and then we just add ing. Have a practice. Practice makes perfect. And good luck with your spelling test on Friday. Bye.